Hi, my name is Maya and I joined South Royal three years ago from Sutton Green Primary School. Today I'm going to show you a few different subjects, including the technology faculty in science. First, let's go see what's happening in design technology. Welcome to the technology faculty at South Royal High School. At Key Stage 3, we offer a discrete lesson in design technology, food technology and computing to all students every week. What makes us stand out is the fact that we have specialist teachers in each subject who can't wait to share their knowledge with you. In Year 9, you'll have the option of picking a GCSE or vocational qualification from some new subjects, as well as those studies at Key Stage 3. These include business, health and social care and IT. As you move into our sixth form, you can continue to study product design, business, IT and computing, health and social care, as well as new subjects in travel and tourism and law. There is so much to get involved in and so many new skills to be learned in the technology faculty. We look forward to meeting you. DT is about designing for the real world. Designing and making functioning products to solve real world problems. In year seven, you can expect to learn to draw in 3D, design a product to solve the issue of tangled headphone wires, and design a child's toy to help promote the family membership at the zoo. In DT, we don't just make use of traditional methods of design and making, but we also embrace the world of CAD CAM. We have four 3D printers in the department. and a laser cutter. As you progress through the school, you'll have the opportunity to make and use all of the equipment to help you design, test and manufacture products to solve problems, create solutions that work. Now we're going upstairs to the tower block to see one of our six computer rooms. Computing at South Wirral equips pupils to use computational thinking and creativity to understand and change the way they think about the digital world today, developing deeper knowledge of digital literacy, use of information and communication technology and computer science to effectively participate in and be ready for the workplace and be able to participate effectively in the digital world. In Year 7 we programmed in a game called Kodu and we learned some e-safety, but along the years there will be so much more interesting things. I see it's a great lesson and everyone with enough interest will go for it. During Year 7 we offer a blend of computing and information technology such as binary conversion, e-safety, fundamentals of a computer system, spreadsheets and a mix of program languages, Kodu and Python. You, it involves a lot of teamwork and that but it's a great because you get to find new friends and get to communicate with the ones you don't know. And you get to build new com you get to build computers and you get to figure out what's in the side of a computer. Key Stage 3 Computing allows students to become responsible, competent, confident and creative users of information and communication technology. They'll be given the opportunity to express their creativity by creating solutions with the tools they feel are most suitable for the task. Computer science encourages them to evaluate the effectiveness of their solutions in terms of goals and suitability and reflect on the process they followed, including the software they used. I really enjoyed computing this year doing the idea award with home learning. Also in the T block we have our two food technology rooms. These are the most popular during our tours in opening evening. In year seven food technology, we cover a range of topics such as food safety, culinary skills, heat transfer, food commodities, food science and food choice. The practical dishes that we make are couscous salad, homemade pizza, fresh fruit crumble, quesadillas, chicken goujons, raspberry and apple muffins, corn stir fry, spaghetti neapolitan, mini meatballs in a pitta, cheese scones, ice cream cone cupcakes, 
macaroni cheese, designer rock cakes, spicy rice and fruit smoothies. Our aim is to ensure students develop the knowledge they need to live a healthy, balanced lifestyle. Hello, this is the Clamity Kitchen and now I'm going to go through all the hazards about what's going to happen in the kitchen. Um, for one, the windows open and the spiders are coming in through the window. For the second one, there's the pans on fire. Number three, the, the, um, the rat, there's a rat on the side on a plate. There's a knife in the microwave. Number six, there's the handles on the pans are sticking out. Number seven, the, the oven door's open. There's rubbish on the floor. These humble dryer doors open and the washing's all over thinner. And the stools are meant to be tucked away instead of laying on the floor. And the chopping boards need to be switched around where the fruit is meant to be on the green one and the meat is meant to be on the red one. Also in the technology faculty, we have the chance to study tourism and travel, health and social care and business studies. Business studies can be started in year nine as a taster course, which just lasts half the year um, and is a sample of what you'll do in year 10 and 11 if you were to take it. In year 10 and 11, we do the Tech Award in Enterprise and the focus is on looking at small local businesses. So you'll be encouraged to um, do some research into local entrepreneurs and find out why they started their business and what makes them successful. By year 11, you'll actually pitch your own business in a Dragon's Den style activity. Moving on to the sixth form, you can do either the single or the double award in business. If you do the single, it's worth one A level and the double is worth two. You'll study lots of different activities and topics, including marketing and finance to a much greater degree. And then we'll also do some more exciting units if you do the double award, such as events management. This is where we organise a three day trip to London, which is organised by the students for the students. We also do a great unit on teamwork, where the focus is on practical teamwork activities, and that culminates in a trip to breakout in Liverpool. Hello, my name is Joe Murphy and I'm studying double business at A level. I'm currently working through my units and coursework and preparing to do a exam, a written exam in January. The units that I've enjoyed doing is the teamwork ones mainly because we have to go to a practical in Liverpool at Breakout, which is fun, which is a day out, a little trip out of uh, our little class of business. Now let's go to science, one of my favourite subjects. We have nine laboratories in school, and from the moment you set foot in Southwell, you get to do loads of exciting experiments. Welcome to the Science Faculty. We are made up of biology, chemistry, physics and psychology. We have a strong creative team of specialist teachers who really enjoy sharing their knowledge and supporting students to develop their scientific skills. In Key Stage 4 we offer the Combined Science GCSE as well as the Separate Science GCSEs and Psychology GCSE qualifications, which are always popular choices with a wide range of students. Beyond GCSE, we also offer A-levels in Biology, Physics and Psychology, as well as an excellent Level 3 BTEC in Applied Science. We believe that science is about asking questions, and so have designed our Key Stage 3 curriculum around the following big questions in science. What are we made of? Is the world predictable? How did we get here? How do we impact the world around us? And can we ever know the truth? The aim of the Key Stage 3 Science Curriculum is to develop successful learners through enriching students' awareness of the big ideas that underpin scientific knowledge and understanding. These include cells and organisation, energy, particles, the earth and its atmosphere, chemical reactions, forces, space, genetics and interdependence. We also want our students to be confident, inspired individuals, so seek to develop students' abilities to work scientifically 
through experimentation and investigation. Alongside this, students learn the importance of scientific models and the way in which theories develop. By undertaking scientific inquiry, students are given the chance to develop their critical thinking and analytical skills. I enjoy science at South Wirral because we get to learn about all the aspects of science as well as the hazards. We also do from practicals such as using buds and burners to make rock salt to rock crystals. Finally, we help students to understand how human actions have shaped our world and how, through the advancement of science, we might shape it in the future, helping them to become aspiring, responsible citizens. We always encourage students to engage with science beyond the curriculum. Running clubs which have recently included building a flying model aeroplane, watching the latest scientific documentaries, reading scientific literature and considering how scientific knowledge can help us change the world. Well that's it for today. Check back tomorrow when we'll be continuing our tour looking at the performance and English faculties. <laughs>